Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at some of the crypto side of the stock. So we'll take a look at Coin, Mara and Riot. We'll be doing technical analysis, identifying the important key levels and we'll be taking an idea on at what levels shall we take short or long positions and how we may expect these particular stocks to behave in coming days and weeks. With that, please hit the like and subscribe if you find values in my videos. And none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. Now let's begin with coin first today. So what are we seeing with coin? So I do want to mention this was brought up again by one of my subscribers and um, you know they made a profit on it and they asked me to look into it. Uh, what how it may behave um, and since then I have been looking into it and I also got quite interested in these three uh, you know the the equities or stocks you want to call it just because how interesting the chart pattern is looking so with coin you know um, we saw this rip out of this 20 50 and 200 days moving average right in this area and when a rip like this happens you do see a continuation now what are we working with coin so we have this resistance marked at the level of $115. And so this is where um, we are rejecting this resistance. Now, as for the RSI, the RSI is overbought, but that's nothing to be worried about. It's just a cool off that is happening. Why I say there is nothing to worry about even if RSI is overbought because look at the slope of this 20 days moving average this yellow line it is so steep right now that any pullback will still give you some bounce on it and then we'll like take a look at the price action at those levels to see what potentially the upside can we be still having on say the coin in this particular case now we do have to jump to the hourly level first before we come back to the daily level again to talk a few more things now Coin on, let me turn off the VWAP guys actually. Coin right now is bullish and it's just being choppy. We did break though below this key support, another key support level that formed recently. And that is this level of $102. This is an acting resistance now. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. The proper entry place to play the bounce on intraday is when if the price touches anywhere anytime 200 hours moving average this red line and if it goes above 102 dollars right that's when it will become super again proper i shouldn't say super but proper bullish again to trade it to the level of 115 again at least and then if that breaks then we can talk about other upside if this breaks 200 hours moving average we expect it to come down to 85 dollars and keep a note of that 85 dollars when i said that's where somewhere close we have this 20 days moving average as well i mean i don't expect it to be penny to penny precise but some watch this level of 88 dollars or somewhere this could be a pullback buying place again there is no guarantees just at least how what i'm reading in price action as any pullback or close to 20 days moving average right now may still give it a, some bounce at least to test this recent high or the levels that we have on the chart 102 and 115 so you have to work with these levels and the the moving average is on both daily and hourly interval to take the best position now this is not a bearish play this is still a bull play but wait for the pullbacks sure you can take out intraday some small short positions here but just looking at how strong the momentum has been you will be better off if you just take a look at some of the you know the long plays on the pullback side at least for now uh, we have a good support at 86 dollars on coin all right this was with coin guys let's take a look at mara so mara is in that very stage right now where we are just bouncing off of 20 days moving average this is where we had last time a little bit of buyback and we will talk about on hourly level this is another good support 
Um, what are we seeing with Mara is we have another support level at somewhere around this range of $15. So even if it pulls back here, we have a good support. Um, we have this overhead resistance at level of $18. So let me mark this as well. Let's see how strongly this will resist this resistance act. Um, but yeah, we can still play the pullback at 20 days moving average to the upside and even $15 to the upside. If it breaks $15, then the next level of support that it should hold is just right around where 50 days moving average is or $12.67 around this range or 21 cents. So let's take a look at hourly interval to get more uh, insight into it. All right, so Mara is looking weaker. Uh, it's below 200 hours moving average. It broke below it on a strong flush volume. That's, that's the problem here, you can see. And then it's resisting it, it's rejecting it, right? So it did come up again, but then it's rejected to the downside. So with Mara, at least for the short term, uh, we may see it coming down to at least test $15. I mean, this is just my hunch. There is no guarantee. Uh, if it comes back again, 200 hours moving average, then we are looking at the long side of $18.36. So just, yeah. You have your deciding point at this level of $17. Above it's long, below it stays, it's short, at least on the intraday level. Uh, but on the swing side, my hunch is still that it will give us long swing plays at $15.17 or even at $12 a range. Uh, I, I doubt, just looking at the price action right now that it's go, it will go below $15, but hey, I'm I can be wrong as well. So, but it's more like probability is what I'm saying. Likelihood it will find support at 20 and $15 range. And when I said 20, I mean 20 days moving average. All right, guys, this was with Mara. Now let's take a look at Riot. So Riot is, again, like um, it has a resist next well it's one of the resistances at definitely twenty dollars and fifty seven cents let me mark that just right around the, just here let's give it here and then the after that the next resistance is at somewhere around the range of twenty two dollars and eighty six cents um we have a little bit of support forming at $17.88, but I want to take a look at hourly level first. Same thing, guys. Um, if it comes down to 20 days moving average, there can be a pullback that could be bought at 20 days moving average. We also have a good support at $14. Now let's take a look at hourly interval. We have bounced off of 200 hours moving average already. If it comes back to $17.51, watch this level very carefully if this level holds again this will give you a double bottom to play intraday long remember how i'm saying intraday long not swing long at this level right but and also if it doesn't come back below here but gets above 50 hours moving average which is you know level of 18 dollars and 50 cents this is an intraday long play on riot as well and potentially it may come up to 20 dollars again um, but if it breaks 200 hours moving average, then watch for the support at $14.20 range. So this is very likely possible may happen with Riot. So yeah, Riot guys just traded between these levels that I covered and the moving averages. But again, in no form or fashion, it's bearish. There is, it's just looking like it's just doing a pullback. It's not bearish, okay? All right, guys, this is all what I want to cover in this video. I hope you found it helpful and valuable. This is my weekly, actually, what I have started doing now with Riot, Mara, and Coin. So please hit the like and subscribe if you found value in it, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.